What's going on, legends? I want to talk to you about something today that's very frustrating to me, but it's going to save you a ton of time. All right, so what I'm going to tell you right now is probably going to save you at least two to three weeks. You're probably going to launch faster or move ahead with your progress with FBA faster. And you're going to come back later, like this video, you're going to subscribe, you're going to tell me how amazing I am, and everyone will be happy. So, what am I talking about? When you first find your product and you are excited, you find a supplier, you talk to them, everything is great. Uh, they gave you the price, they gave you the timelines. Rule number one is, and if you go through our Facebook group, you'll see uh, one of the members there, they posted a big list of what you should follow. But one of the main things with suppliers, specifically from China, is the fact that miscommunication is a big thing. And just because they say it might take seven to 10 days, uh, they actually could mean so many other things by that. They can mean production will take seven to 10 days, but then there's shipping. Then they can say, if you decide to put your own logo on it, it might take additional time. If you make a custom order, it might take additional time. Next thing you know, from the seven days or 10 business days that you were hoping for, all of a sudden it turned to a month, it could be longer. Now, I learned this the hard way because what I did wrong was, I found the product I want, obviously, I did all the numbers, I researched, everything is great. And I was like, okay, I want to differentiate the product. I want to make sure this is mine. Nobody else has something similar. I mean, obviously there's competition, but nobody has it with the same colors, with the same logo style, the same quality of material. I want it to be mine. I wanted the, the sizes to be different and have quite a big differentiation so that people, when they see the product, they'll be like, okay, this is definitely not the same as everyone else's but it's the same line, okay? Are you following? Good. I need to have my tea. What I did wrong was, is I found that supplier and I told them, here's the colors that I want, here's the logo that I want, um, here's the sizes that I want, and then obviously we talked about the numbers, how much it costs, how long it will take, and I was promised, okay, seven to 10 business days to do the production, uh, additional few days for the logo molding, um, a couple more days for the color differences because they have to come up with the color themselves. Now, all of that, by the way, was talked after I already paid them the deposit, not the deposit, sorry, the, the sample fee for the shipment and so on. Now, of course, when you first uh, have the samples made, if you are making a logo with that same supplier, they're gonna charge you between 40 to 80 bucks for the molding of the logo because they have to create a new template essentially just for you and there's a one-time charge that they put and it's all refundable or they're gonna use towards the big order afterwards anyways. So I looked at it as, you know what, I found the supplier, great. They, I like the way we communicate, they seem professional, I like everything about them so far. They're reputable, I searched everything about them. So I was like, you know what, let's go ahead. Like, why would I waste time? That's where I went wrong because what I should have done and that's what I recommend you do is get them to send you samples of relatively similar thing to what you want, okay? So for example, if you're getting some sort of product that you wanna change the colors of, see what, what they have in stock already and get them to send that. Because yeah, you're gonna see a difference in color, but at least you're gonna feel the product in your hands, you're gonna see what it's like, you're gonna see if it breaks easy or just easy or whatever it needs to do to your requirements. Color-wise, yes, you wanna see that too, we're gonna get into that in a second, how to check for that after. So once you have three different suppliers or four different suppliers or how many more, you will actually be spending maybe 30, 40, 50 bucks for a sample order of whatever they have in stock. Now the good news is it will take between three to maybe seven business days tops for, for you to get the item. Now I did two different products at the beginning when I started searching. One product, I just got them to send me the stock because I'm going away on a trip soon and I wanted to see if I can take this with me on a trip and how it's going to work with me and so on. So that product got to me within seven business days and that's because I didn't change anything about it. I told him, send me what you have in stock. Okay, because I want to see because if, if I'm changing things, I'm going to change it after I see what it's like already. Because maybe I don't even like the item when I have it in my hands, right? So why waste the time? So now, after two and a half weeks, uh, the supplier ran into issues, they used the wrong color, they used the wrong material, whatever the cases are, like there's a bunch of issues that came up two and a half weeks later. And that goes back to square one and we are restarting the process. So now I've been promised 
two more weeks. So what did I do now? Now that I'm smarter and wiser and I can understand that this will probably take another three, four weeks instead of two like they said, I'm like, send me whatever you have in stock. I want to see and feel it in my hands. In the meantime, sure, go ahead, do the actual sample that we talked about. But for now, send me whatever. Now, in my case, it kind of worked out because I get a discounted price for the bulk order and they're apologizing and they're on my side and they understand they're frustrated just as much as I am. So the relationship side, the business side of it is all fine. It's more so they understand what I want, which is important. And what I realized from this whole process is, and that's what some people might have covered before on other YouTube channels, or maybe it's been said many times before. I just got into it myself, so this is what my learning uh, step stone is. When you are ordering, get the sample, like we said. Now, when you're getting your big shipment, say a thousand units or whatever, you are allowed to ask them, hey, can you send me two or three of those to me so that I can do photography with it, I can do marketing with it, whatever the case is. And then the rest of the amount, the 997, send to the FBA, uh, Amazon Warehouse. At least that way, you will get your three um, samples within three to seven business days max. And then the rest of the shipment is going to Amazon's warehouse. Now that's all, all being said is after you've already done your inspection from China. So I would assume you would have hired somebody or you are going to hire somebody to do an inspection. That way that they check everything before anything is being sent out. Now, one big thing that I'm asking my supplier to do, and that might be very neat picking, it might be very anal on my part, but I ask her to send me progress photos of every step of the way almost, as much as possible at least, so I can see where we are with the product. Um, if it's developed, show me the product. If it's putting in a package, I wanna see how that looks like. I wanna see everything so that before they even prepare the bulk thing, before they send it out, I can tell them right there and there, hey, let's fix this right now so we don't waste time. Because I'm all about efficiency and I hope so are you, and I mean, we wanna launch the perfect product. And if we can avoid all the low mistakes right now, it will save us weeks and weeks and weeks. So at this point, I mean, I have one item, thank God, because I got it right away, uh, stock the way I wanted. Now I can do whatever I want, design, I can change the colors, the size, whatever. And now I already know what to expect because this supply was fast. The second product I'm working on, now I learned the hard way. So I hope this helps you. I hope you don't make the same mistake I did. And I hope this video came fast enough for you before you actually uh, order the samples or made changes to them. And quickly to recap, make sure if you're gonna print the logo on your sample, don't do it on the first order of the samples because it's gonna prolong the time for no reason. Yes, you wanna see what it looks like, but if you're gonna do it for photography and marketing reasons, don't waste your time. Get the bulk order first, then ask them to ship you a few. I hope that makes sense. If you have questions, guys, obviously make sure to drop a comment below or join our Facebook group right here, and I'm gonna make sure to try to answer as much as I can and help you as much as I can. So otherwise, subscribe to our channel, like the video, share with everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.